Hello, Aries. Thank you for joining me, Tootsie, here at Snake Lady Tarot. Thank you for your support. Thank you for being here. Like the video on your way in. Subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into your energy reading. Only take what resonates and leave what doesn't behind. Maybe you're not Aries. Maybe you have Aries in your birth chart somewhere. Maybe you're in a relationship, in love, or just interested in Aries fire energy. Cross watchers are welcome as well. Thank you for your support also. On your throne, number nine, your potential is endless, Aries. You are thriving. You are abundant. Dragon, slay them all. Whatever's in your path, you have exactly what you need to defeat it. You have exactly what you need to push through any obstacle, jump over any hurdle. Confidence is not an issue with you here, Aries. You know exactly what you're capable of and you own your power. Messages, advice, what do you need to know? Messages for Aries, fire, energy. Council of Light. Divine Orchestration. Helpers in the Subtle Realms. You have divine intervention. You have quite a bright light that allows ancestors, that allows other energies, other realms to see you, support you, and assist you. Your potential is that most are able to slay them all. You have a lot of spiritual support. A lot of spiritual support. Let's take a look at your energy here, Aries. Ace of Pentacles, Eight of Swords. Some of you may be financially stuck and some of you are patiently waiting for financial, for changes with your finances, open doors, open opportunities. The patience may have you getting ready to walk away, may have you getting ready to walk away from certain opportunities, decisions, people even. Page of Pentacles, learning about something, you're studying. Maybe having a change of perception here with the hanged man. Maybe a change of perception. Maybe an opportunity of someone with um, water energy, Pisces energy here, hangman energy. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, financial opportunities, spiritual, physical connection with others. You have opportunities to maybe make new friends, new connections, maybe build on bonds that you already have with people. You Maybe you feel stuck, maybe you feel trapped here with the Eight of Swords, like you've entrapped yourself with obligations, entrapped yourself I have you ready to walk away from something in a large manner. Let's get some some more advice for you here. I've got four, I've got the nine of swords here, pardon me, at the bottom of the deck here. It's keeping you up late at night, wanting to walk away, feeling stuck, feeling trapped. Maybe a fear of being stuck, being trapped. Maybe nightmares, worries, anxiety, fears for some of you. Spirit saying your throne has potential, endless potential. So whichever route you take, you will still continue to thrive and slay your dragons. You'll still continue to be abundant. King of coins, nine of cups, the hierophant, the moon. Seven of wands. Ten of Swords. Four 
Four of Cups, the Emperor, Page of Swords, and my last card for you here, Ace of Wands. Sorry, you guys, pardon me. Pardon moi. Aries. You have a lot of worry, anxiety, fear. People around you have a lot of worry, anxiety, fear. They're trying to figure out their finances. They're trying to figure out how to stay abundant, how to move ahead without having regret and fear. A lot of worry of the unknown, a lot of worry with about what they don't know, what they don't see. Worried that this may be financially a bad choice that there may be deceit in all of this some of them worry there may be deceit in this offer this opportunity in this connection let's hit the t messages advice what does aries need to know here messages advice for you aries a perfectionist with the parts. My apologies. <laughs> An obsessive lover. Dangerous, toxic, unhealthy possessiveness and karmic. Ignoring. could have worry, anxiety, fear over an obsessive lover. Um, perhaps because of that, you're ignoring this person, um, ignoring an elephant in the room, not speaking of the unsaid. Clout hungry says anything, does anything, makes things up, very dramatic. You're worried you don't know this person as well as you think you do. Perhaps you worry that they're not being authentic. Rejected. Screenshot. Getting evidence. Bad reputation. And then we have happiness hater. Yeah. Bad habits, drugs, addictions, toxicities. You're worried that this person's not who they present themselves to be. You're worried that there is a lot of unseen habits, unseen tendencies, and you're not ready to commit to it. You have a lot of fears, worries, anxieties about committing to someone ever again. With this person, we have the Emperor, we have Ace of Wands, we have Seven of Wands in the Moon, in the Hierophant, Nine of Cups. This person sees you as their leader. They see you as the Emperor. They see you, Aries. You are giving too many cares. Give zero. You may be overthinking this for some of you. You are the best thing to ever happen to you. Go easy on yourself and buy yourself a drink. All right. Um, let's get some final pieces of advice for you. I feel there's um, there's been some heartache here. This person has Ten of Swords energy. They have pain, heartache in their stab in the back kind of energy from the past. Um, There's a hot attraction here, Mars energy. Perhaps that's why you over you, you think about it a lot. All right, yeah, you spy, you inspect. 
get evidence, proof, facts. You're worried about an unexpected storm coming in hot. Spirit's saying, "Hey, you've got the, you've got everything you need to slay the dragons. Transcendence, unity, come together, come above it. Facades, beliefs, come together with proof, with action." And then we have the ancestor guides. Yeah, you have spiritual guidance. Closed off, resistant, ignoring the person. Look ahead, north node. Find your cosmic person, your cosmic purpose here. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, fire energy, ace of fire. And we have suffering in the past, lacking. So a lot of pain, worry, anxiety, fear, toxicity in the past. You're worried that those storms are going to come rearing their heads in again. Um, but you have a hot attraction. You have a lot of possibilities, a lot of connections here, a lot of opportunity. And the worry brings you to this closed off, guarded, wanting to walk away type of energy. Wanting to leave it all behind. You're feeling stuck. You're feeling suffocated like you have no way out definitely more choices and options and opportunities on the table. I would make a decision here, Aries, but I feel you will succeed either way. Your potential is endless and you absolutely have everything you need to slay all the dragons, all the obstacles in your way here. That is my advice. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your support. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you'd like me to know. Um, good luck with everything. Thank you, Aries. Blessed be.